Wanted to move on to another uh, name that people watch closely, of course, certainly uh, uh, amongst those uh, in retail, given uh, still broad ownership of AT&T. That stock does look to be up after the company reported its fourth quarter numbers. Wireless, which, of course, is going to be the only real business, well, wireless and fiber, excuse me, um, uh, of this company as of, let's call it, the second quarter of this year. Pretty strong. Uh, we got a lot of these numbers already because the CFO presented a few weeks back at an investment conference and gave us a preview of some of the numbers. Uh, but it kind of a mixed picture overall to a certain extent in terms of Warner Media EBITDA, which may have been a bit lighter, at least on the margin side, than people had anticipated. I want to look a bit deeper into that. Did have a chance to speak earlier this morning prior to the company's conference call with John Stanky, at t CEO. Uh, here's a quick uh, wrap of what he said when it comes to wireless and what they've seen overall in terms of performance. More postpaid phone net ads in 2021 than we'd done in the previous 10 years. It was our fourth consecutive year of over a million fiber broadband net ads, and we're now increasing the footprint and have an opportunity to ramp that up. And look, at 13.8 million HBO Max ads and what we were able to do to launch on two continents and ultimately broaden that product to not only be a subscription-based service but have advertising support associated with it, look, it was a home run for the team this year. Uh, he says home run. The stock is up. It has been moving higher through this year, of course, since the announcement in May, though, to the end of last year. It was a very poor performer, Jim. I want to continue to focus a bit more, though, on the Warner Media side because that may have an impact on Discovery shares and what does appear to have at least been some disappointment on the part of analysts who are looking at the fourth quarter numbers in terms of margin uh, and even what they're guiding towards. But it, it may be a bit messy, and so we're trying to look, I'm trying to get a bit of a cleaner look there so we can compare it. But the stock has bottomed. You had to, frankly, had to have a lot of people leave the stock because they were in it for yield. And I happen to like Verizon for yield. Yeah. I know that the analysts weren't that positive about Verizon. And they're more positive than ATT, which is kind of a nice sea change for people. Who own yeah, we're going to have a lot more. We had a, lo a long conversation about That's competition good. in wireless, about the future of Warner, about whether it is going to be a spin or a split in terms of how they actually dispose of uh, their ownership of Warner, which is very important and being watched closely. So uh, stay tuned for all look, of that. I look Carl. forward to that. Yeah. You know, the animosity's over, but what more can you say? I mean, stock bottom. I mean, there's not much more to say.